from underdogs to red hot favourites as Albion women switched roles a week on from their excellent win over the league leaders Doncaster. This time the visitors were the unfancied side. A second from bottom Aston Villa arrived at Culver Road looking to cause a major shock. And that looked possible after just 18 seconds when Ebony Salmon found herself clean through on goal. But Lucy Gillette proved her warm-up routine had worked and denied the Villa forward. After the early scare, Albion found their feet and their dominance was rewarded on 16 minutes after some fine work from Imi Umatong put Kirsty Barton in on goal to open the scoring. Recently named player of the season, Daniel Bowie tried to double the advantage, a fine shot that whistled just past the post before Jenna Legs ever dropped over the bar. Bouet was at the heart of everything Albion produced and her magnificent ball over the top set Umatong on her way. The striker, though, couldn't steer the ball home. It was all Albion and they were left ruining their luck as the woodwork twice saved the visitors. Kate Knackhill cracked the bar with Lucy Soames doing the same from the rebound. Salmon had been liveliest for Villa but her attempted lob dropped the wrong side of the bar. Umatong's power has caused problems all season, and yet another defence failed to deal with her tenacity as she stormed into the box and delivered a sublime finish to finally give Albion the second goal they deserved. Hope Powell's side were determined to be out of sight before the interval, but Soames was denied by a smart save from Aja Aguirre. Villa should have hauled themselves back into the game on the stroke of half-time. Salmon, though, dragged her effort wide. As the hour approached, the visitors did halve the deficit with a superb individual goal from Tash Baptiste. As the game wore on, both sides had nervy moments and in injury time, substitute Ashley Brown was inches away from snatching a point for Villa. But a combination of Sophie Perry and Gillette ensured victory for Albion. It made it very difficult for ourselves at times. I think we played in really good spells in the first half and if we made the most of them good spells then it would have been a lot easier going into the second half. So, yeah, it did turn into a battle at the end but, you know, we saw it through and we got the three points, which is what matters.